Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. Uh, we're getting into a section uh, that discusses and talks about congruence and being able to successfully write congruency statements and naming polygons is so important because it can help to identify which angles and sides will correspond to each other. And here we're given an example where you're asked to write congruency statements for each pair of congruent polygons. And it's assumed that these two triangles are congruent. But what if you didn't know that? How do you figure it out? Well, the first rule, and it's a great rule to take with you wherever you go, uh, especially when you get into big time standardized tests such as SATs or the star which is coming up. Never let the diagram on the test guide you in your answer. Always recreate or redraw diagrams and let the information you determine be your guide in finding an answer. So what I'm doing here right now is redrawing these triangles but what you're going to see in a second is I'm going to redraw them so that the corresponding angles are in the same place. So here I still have, I'm going to call this angle A, and angle A you already know. Well, let me finish this up. Angle A, C, and B. Well, you already know that angle A is 85 degrees, it looks like. And maybe that's a little bit tough to see, so what I'm going to do is put 85 degrees right there. Cool. Well, this guy C is 57 degrees, and B is 38 degrees. Cool. So I already know the angles here, since they're all the same measures. Well, I know I'm going to make these again. Well, this is going to be 85 degrees, 57 degrees, and 38 degrees. Not tough. Cool. Well, the next thing that I'm going to do, go back to my other color again, which I think it was a, a pink or something, but it doesn't really matter. All I want to do is fill in this information to say, hey, well, what, what's the letter for this side? Well, 85 degrees is X for this triangle and 57 degrees is Z for this triangle, and 38 degrees is Y for this triangle. Cool, so now I know uh, what letters represent the corresponding measures here, 57 and 57. Well, C and Z are in the same place for these two triangles. That's neat. Well, how do I actually name it and write everything out? Well, before actually naming anything, let's go back to that last question. How do you know if that it is assumed these two triangles are supposed to be congruent? Well, if the corresponding angles and sides are congruent, congruent I mean the same size and shape, if the corresponding angles and sides are congruent, then the actual shapes, the actual polygons, these two triangles have got to be congruent. Well, let's go ahead and write some congruency statements. Well, let's start with angle A here. I'm going to say, hey, angle, angle A is congruent, and remember that congruent symbol is congruent to angle X, it looks like. Since angle A is congruent to angle X, well, then I write angle A corresponds to angle X. I'm going to scroll down the screen and let's finish this up here. Well, it looks like angle B, let's start with the angle B and Y. So angle B 
is congruent to angle Y. And angle C is congruent to angle Z. Well, if angle B is congruent to angle Y, then I know that angle B corresponds to angle Y. And I know that if angle C is congruent to angle Z, that's a C there, then it corresponds to angle, C, angle Z. So if these three angles are congruent, then I can write a congruency statement. Cool. Well, let's say this. I'm going to change colors again. Let's say, hey, triangle. That actually doesn't look like I changed colors, but hey, it's going to work out. I'm going to say, hey, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Well, angle A corresponds to angle X here, so. I'm going to say triangle X and B is congruent or corresponds to angle Y. So Y and then C is congruent to angle Z. So I'm going to say, hey, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. And it's so important that these are named in the correct order. because it shows which angles correspond to each other in both polygons or triangles in this case.